Available homes in the Denver metro market jumped up 10.9% month over month. Hey, it's Sean Reddy, Keller Williams Reddy Group. This is the Denver metro market in a minute for June 2023. As of recording this, it's July 5th. Hope everyone had a great and safe 4th of July weekend. Not too much storms, not too much hail. Let's get right into the numbers of what's happening in the seven county area encompassing the Denver metro. As I mentioned, available homes, I'm not gonna use the term skyrocketed yet, 10.9% jump after a 15% jump the previous month, after an 8% jump the month before that. That's, if you're a buyer trending in the right direction and we can start to throw out the narrative that golden handcuffs are impeding every seller from listing their home, 6,515 homes available as of time as of the time of recording this. And that re- does represent a 2023 high, by the way. So there are, if you're a buyer, there's 6,500 plus choices for sale right now. Uh, new listings that hit the market also jumped 8.6% from the previous month of May, going from 5,644 to 6,128. So again, let's toss out the narrative that nobody's selling because obviously those 6,000 plus decided to put their home on the market last month. Let's get into uh, sale, a little bit of sales activity. New contracts, meaning homes that went under contract in the month of June, dipped a little bit by 1%. The previous month, it dipped by 3%. So that's two straight months of uh, less contracts. Something to consider too, especially as more homes are hitting the market. Slowly start creeping into maybe more of a balanced territory. Uh, however, of the homes that did go under contract, their median days on market was only 10. Their average days on market was 25. Now, that is a slight increase from the previous month, yet homes are still, well, let me pull back. Homes that are priced correctly, well promoted, and well represented online, have great photography, they're going to sell quickly, even in today's 7% interest rate environment. Reason being, Buyers are going to buy, plain and simple. And the ones who are buying, like I said, are they're looking for the well-priced homes, they're looking for the, the, the best-looking homes, the one with the least amount of work, and those are going to get snatched up, oftentimes still, to this day, to multiple offers. So we talked about the average median days on market, new listings, available homes, new contracts. Closed sales jumped 4.3% month over month. We went from 4406 to 4594 So Saw that come in uh, with new purchase contracts two months ago because that is such a lagging measure. What are prices doing? Everyone's favorite, right? The average price, now keep in mind, this is of the uh, 4,600 homes that sold last month. Average price did go up 3%. Now, that could be be because you have some uh, really expensive properties selling that drag that average up, maybe some outliers on that end. So we also look at median. Median selling price also did go up, albeit just 1%, from $599 to $605. So that does mark, let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four straight months of price gain month over month. Again, it's in the grand scheme of things, a month median price is kind of a, um, it is a small sample size. So once we start putting that together quarterly and annually, that's when we put a little bit more weight behind it. Uh, interestingly enough, of the homes that did close, those 4,600, the median uh, sold price to list price ratio was 100, meaning, and it has been 100 for some time, meaning, like I said, those homes come out for sale that are well-priced, well-positioned, well-marketed, there's going to be a buyer to pay that price, and oftentimes more. And we are still seeing multiple offers in many instances. So the median being 100, that means half of the homes that closed, closed, sold for over asking price. The other half sold for under. So definitely something to keep in mind. You know, it, if you're, uh, I guess, apprehensive about selling because of some of this data, as long as you price it right and you hire somebody who is going to represent the property well and market it well and have great photography, you're going to get your price maybe even more. So don't don't sweat that as much as you know some of these other figures that are out there. Now, macro level look, all markets can perform differently. If you are looking for something more specific to your town, your suburb, your block, your street, your house, let us know. Reach out in the comments section, send us a direct message. Make sure to hit that subscribe and uh, subscribe button, uh, notification bell. We'd really appreciate that. 
And the goal, the hope is you're finding value in this. Either you're the casual, you know, market onlooker wanting to know what's going on, or you plan on entering the market sometime in the next six, 12, 18 months. And this data helps you determine when the best time for you might be. I do thank you for watching. Again, this is the Denver Metro Real Estate Market in a Minute. I'm Sean Reddy, Keller Williams Reddy Group, and we'll see you next month.